to the Republic for Religious Stand, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Georgetown. Today is Monday, March 21st, 2016. I'm Brianna. And I'm Nenef for the award winner, Good Morning Georgetown and WFNC. Activity buses will run Tuesday this week. After school activities today are Excelbia and Bell. There will be boys and girls soccer on Tuesday this week. See Mr. Castro or Mr. Carter if you have any questions. Where the work is Dr. Wayam? You may identify the classroom Dr. Williams is visiting. Tell Dr. Williams, Mr. Haynes, or Ms. Slutkoff and collect a roar. Hey, what are you guys working on? Oh, we're working on designing uh, housing, housing plans for our rooms. Okay, and what is the end product that you're going to create? Oh, we're going to we're gonna have the end product for our, for our design. We're going to have, like, uh, design our rooms. So, like, let's say once we are finished with it, we can start finally start constructing our house because now that we have the rooms down, we can now start focusing on actually creating. Wow, this sounds like a creative uh, project. Can't wait to see the final project. Keep up the good work. Thanks. The force from the beginning. time honor roll student should report to the media center after announcements to sign up for the honor roll activities. Sutherland, Bull, Scarpelli, Hoffman, Montez, Quiones, and Lee. Tomorrow will be hosting a diversity night and we and we need all students to participate by illustrating a Cocoa piece to share part of the culture they, they identify with today during Cocoa time. Include images and words showing food Sport, flags, and other images which express their culture. Then, cut them out so we can connect them to the students with diversity lines of culture we have here at Forest Oaks Middle School. Teachers, please place the complete pieces in Ms. Conejo mailbox. Thank you. G, Cassidy Reitenauer, Yasmina Lothar, Gabriella Masson for the winning third place in the Choose Respect Montgomery Healthy Dating PSA video conference held yesterday at Richard Montgomery High School. The girls won $500 cash prize for their submission. Pokemon is turning 20, 20 this year.
previously announced, Box Tops will be back for the, with the last contest for this school year. We are 5,000 Box Tops short of our goal, so let's tackle that goal. This contest will run until Wednesday, May 25th. This time, the reward will be every time a homeroom hits 100 box tops, the class gets to go outside for recess. For example, if a class turns in 100 by May, mid-April, they get to go out, and if they hit 100 again in May, they get to go out again. Let's race for some out, outside time. For every 100 box tops, mark your bag with your teacher's name, and please turn them in to the main office in the box top shoebox. We will announce who wins each time. Thank you. As a student of Ashley Woodforce Oak Community to please donate new and gently used children clothing sacks, clothing for size, newborn to age 16. The drive will continue until March 22nd. Bring your donation to Ms. Hernandez Ave Cousinton. Donation will support the Antofane World Clothing Center. Are you interested in computer programming, Minecraft design, or code breaking? The Germantown campus of Montgomery College is having a spring camp techno spring break technology camp. Scholarships are available. To learn more about the camp, visit the Montgomery College Youth Programs website or speak to Ms. Hernandez. Homer Outland Lab HHL is back offering student homework help from MCPS teacher. Ask the question to HHL by calling 301-279-3234. Tweeting, texting, emailing, or posting to Facebook. See the MC MCPS website for more information. Here is Mr. Wigner with a rundown for the wrestling championship. Good morning, Forest Oak. Hope everyone had a great weekend, and we're uh, excited for uh, our three-day stretch here leading into spring break. Um, Wednesday, as you all know, uh, March 23rd is our... Uh, 10th annual wrestling championships here at Forest Oak Middle School. Um, our uh, wrestlers have been working really hard um, based on qualifiers from our PE wrestling program who then qualified for the semifinals after school and during Cougar time and uh, now are our finalists. We have 28 finalists uh, that will be wrestling for periods one, two, and three. Um, part of uh, the wrestling championships is the uh, raffle that we uh, do, which we're about to do here on GMFO, to determine which classes will be invited down for the main event. Um, so I'm going to have Sophia help me out with uh, drawing the uh, class names, and uh, we will uh, announce them as they are drawn. So we'll start with period one. Sophia, you want to draw the first couple here? We'll announce them. Okay, Miss Fourth, you will be invited uh, for period one. Just keep on drawing. And Ms. Oschleiger, it's two. And we'll be drawing 10 names for period one. Ms. Shabletsky. Ms. Colbert. Again, this is for period one. Ms. Jones Black. This is number six. Uh, Mr. Smith, period one. Okay, our seventh. Miss Briggs, period one. Mr. Schmid, period one. And two more. Mr. Einhorn. I have some uh, Mr. Einhorn students in the back there, I can see. And uh, Ms. Uh, uh, Krauchko, period one. So those 10 uh, classes will be joining us for period one. Period two, I'm going to start with period two now. All right, period two. Uh, Ms. Colbert, see, Ms. Colbert's going to be down for period one and two. We're going to be drawing seven for period two here. Ms. Hoffman, Ms. Hoffman's period two will be joining us. Ms. Cornejo, okay, fourth is Miss Fourth, ironically enough. <laughs> Fifth is uh, Mr. McNerney, and two more here. 
Mr. Einhorn. Mr. Einhorn will be down for period one and two as well. And last one, last but not least, Mr. Jewell, period two. And we're gonna do our final drawing here for period three. And we'll be drawing 10 as well for this one. Okay, first one for period three here, Mr. Smith. So Mr. Smith will be coming down for period one and three. Okay, Miss Jones Black and Miss Hoffman, period three. Period three, Miss Bumbernick, Mr. Rogers. Miss Briggs, period three, Miss Briggs. This will be number five, Miss Shableski. Number six, Mr. McNerney. Miss French. Okay, three more. Miss Crouchko. Two more. Mr. Schmid. And last one. Drum roll, please. Let's see who it is. Miss Livers, period three. All right, so uh, tomorrow we will have posted the uh, teachers that have been invited down, and uh, just so you can have it and all set and, and know, you know when, when you're coming down. Um, you will be having to go to your classroom first, teachers, and make sure that you get attendance taken care of right away, and then quickly uh, walk down um, with your class. Uh, you will be invited into the gym by the PE staff, seated in the bleachers, and then you'll be enjoying the event. Um, so again, uh, we're looking forward, forward to a great event and uh, back to our anchors. Thank you, Mr. Wignick. The sunrise today occurred at 7.10 a.m. Today's weather will be breezy and chilly with partial sunshine. A stray afternoon shower and a high temperature of 42 degrees. <clears throat> the sunset tonight will occur at 7.23 p.m. Tonight, the weather will be mainly clear and cold with a temperature with a low temperature of 26 degrees. That's all for tonight, today's Good Morning Forest Dope. Please check your classroom clock. The correct time is 824. I'm Brianna Fernene. Have a majestic Monday. <laughs>